OCR. OCR means Optical Character Recognition. In this project, I'm going to translate some handwritten text into Spanish and French. And I'm also going to save it inside a data logger. So let's get started. So first, we're going to go to the board, select e -Vive.
what this means is that inside the convert say inside the convert variable the uh, the translated handwritten text to french to spanish will be written right here it'll say the same thing inside the handwritten text result instead it will become into spanish now let's do the same thing to french so we're going to go and get the if condition from the control palette we're again going to go to the operators and get the equality operator we're going to again get the answer variable so the answer variable will go against french so the answer but answer variable will check if inside the box here if it's written french or typed in french we're going to go again and get the text to speech again going to get speak hello we're also going to go to the translate get this box and we're going to go and get hand written text from the artificial intelligence so right here we're going to go to the variables and get the set convert hello to punch we are also going to go again here and go and get had written text result now we we'll have to save it inside a data logger for that we we'll need another extension which is going to be named data logger we can show data in the c csv file you can see the relevant blocks from the data logger first we're going to create a file name we can name any file like i'm just going to say that we're just going to name it language
11 La Palabra que se escucha Paris, pero la carta que se escribe permanece. So it just said, it just spoke, then translated, had written text to Spanish, and just said the what and the the, the words which are written here into Spanish, and also wrote what was written here, and we're also and if we don't want this. If we don't want this to come inside again from starting, we'll go to the variables again and go to set convert to zero. We'll make this empty so nothing will be inside in the first place. Now we're going to go to French and we're just going to go to the data lab. See here, there's going to be our language file here. So we're going to press the right click and we're going to go. We're going to do it again and we're going to open with. We're going to go to Notepad and you'll see here it's going to be our. Our translated, our translated Spanish result is going to be written here. So, our language data is going to be saved right here. Now, to check that we action that this is actually written, this is actually translated, we're going to. Please subscribe to our channel, like and stay safe.